What does the Quran make so unique? And how do we know it's from God? Scientists have been successful in finding out what part of our brain we use when we lie and deceive. This was only possible with the help of modern technology and equipment. So one of the main candidates is right about here, uh, right above your forehead, it's called the cingulate gyrus, involved in a lot of different functions. But what we find is that when we knock this area out or we remove this area, people no longer deceive and they don't deceive very well. Now let us go back 1400 years to a place in the middle of nowhere called Arabia. Allah revealed the following verses of chapter 96 to his prophet, where he describes a disbeliever who denies the signs of his Lord. The definition of forelock is a lock of hair growing just above the forehead. The Quran described this part of our head as sinning and lying. So one of the main candidates is right about here, uh, right above your forehead, it's called the cingulate gyrus, involved in a lot of different functions. But what we find is that when we knock this area out or we remove this area, people no longer deceive and they don't deceive very well. <laughs> 